One of the great new features of Adobe InDesign CS5 is the Enhanced Links palette. Now at an easy glance, you can have myriad information about your placed links. All it needs is a few modifications from the base settings. I have an InDesign document with a few links placed as examples. Go ahead and find your links palette wherever you have it stored, and if it's grouped in, go ahead and tear it off. By default, the links menu shows you the file name and the page number of where the link is placed. Go ahead and stretch your palette open a little bit to give yourself some room to see things. And you can now control the area um, in the links palette of different information. So by sliding this bar over, you can get your full file name in here and it's no longer truncated. Now simply go to the fly down menu and choose panel options. From here you'll see a list of things that InDesign can show you in the links palette. For web design and print design, um, there are a few things I normally like to see in the links palette. I like size, color space, actual PPI and effective PPI, which are essentially dots per inch, and scale. Go ahead and choose OK, and you'll see that the, this information shows up in the links palette. I can now tell at a glance if I'm working on a print document that I have two RGB images in here, so I'll have to go back into Photoshop and convert them to CMYK so I don't get any surprises during the printing and or proofing process. I can also see by clicking on these objects that it is highlighted here in the links palette so you know exactly where you are. For instance, on this first one, which are the beakers, I know that the actual image when I, when I got it from stock photography was 180 dots per inch, but at 38.2% reduction to fit on this page, the actual resolution output for is going to be 471 dots per inch. 300 dots per inch for grayscale and color images are generally acceptable. Um, a little bit higher, a little bit less is fine, but 300 is the range you need to be in. Below you'll also find an abbreviated summary of information about the file as well. If you stretch down the palette to see a little bit more, you can see the name, the status, which is OK. It's the same thing as the triangle up here, letting you know that it couldn't find the placed object or it's not embedded. The, si the original size, again the color space, a profile if you have one attached, the actual and the effective resolution, whether or not you have transparency applied to it, um, like overprint or fade. Um, you'll see the original dimensions at 72 dots per inch, so if you divide by this you'll figure out exactly what your image size is, where the image is located if it's linked, its format, when you've placed it and when you last modify it. So hopefully the new links palette will give you a little bit more help when you're designing for your projects.